gem or junk? Howdy gamers, Patrick Hickey Jr., Editor-in-Chief of ReviewFix.com, bringing you the next edition of Gem or Junk. This week out, we're going to be playing Al Unser Jr. Turbo Racing on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So, this game is supposed to be all about speed. And I remember playing it when I was a kid, and uh, it definitely captured that essence to me. I don't know why I'm not going that fast now. Here we go. There we go. We're starting to pick up speed. I remember when I was a little kid, I used to wear those little goggles that you could race in and stuff like that. And uh, this game always kind of made me feel like I was going like a million miles an hour. Here we go. Now we're starting to speed up. Alright. Kind of forgot the controls at first. Like, oh my god. This game was insane back in the day. It's like pretty straight up. In terms of uh, time trials and stuff. So I got 131 here, which is kind of crap. But we're going to go again. Okay. So we're going to beat that. Because now I got the controls again. Data East used to make so many good games back in the day. There we go. From Side Pocket to Bad Dudes. There we go. There we go. I'm catching up people now. Oh yeah, it's on, baby. Ah, you bum. The time trials alone were cool in this game, but I love the... There we go. I'm gonna hit some shit here. Crap. Let's go, let's go. Speeding up, baby. Oh yeah, it's on. Ah. There we go. Alright. Should I just cut 10 seconds off? So as you guys can see, this game moves really fast. Um, there's not much of a story. You can upgrade your car at certain points. It's a pretty straightforward racing game. So we're just going to start. And then to qualify. So if you ever wanted to be an Indianapolis 500 driver, this is the game to play to get into that. Again, visually, it's not pole position. It reminds me a little bit of pole position. I think it moves a lot faster than pole position. And you do get this feeling of speed. Like, a game is not supposed to like move this fast for 1989 when it was released. And, like, just turning these corners and letting go of the brake and letting go of the gas and stuff, it controls mega smooth. It's like I just went from 130 to 120 to 57. After a couple of laps, you totally get to where you need to be. Like, you know how to play. Super easy to jump into. Gem or junk, if you're a racing fan, this is definitely a gem. This is definitely something worth jumping into.